that a man wanted in connection with a Soho hotel murder could be behind violent crimes in multiple states. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Police say that suspect was picked up in Arizona, accused in a different crime, and police were tipped off when he told investigators to Google the Soho killing. And tonight we are learning he's had a history of arrests in Florida, Texas, and Arizona. CBS 2's Naveen Daliwa live outside Soho 54 Hotel with the latest. Naveen. Yeah, Maurice, this man has a long rap sheet accused of kidnapping, carjacking, and now he's connected to a murder at this hotel here in Soho. And police say he may have more victims across the country. It's been nearly two weeks since the death of 38-year-old Denise Olias Aransibia. Now police say Rod Almansore, already behind bars, is wanted in connection with her murder. While in the custody of Arizona law enforcement, he informs them that he is wanted for homicide in New York City and tells the cops that they should Google Soho 54 Hotel. But police had been hot on his trail after they say he left a receipt with his name inside of a pair of bloody trousers in that hotel room. Detectives say the victim was hit with an iron, a brutal attack. A broken iron was recovered at the scene and recovered bits of plastic that were found embedded inside of her skull. Police say Almansare was not a stranger to the law, giving us this timeline to his arrest. In April of last year, he was arrested for kidnapping and sexual assault in Florida. January of this year, he bought a plane ticket from Florida to New York. Three days later, he used a credit card in the city. February 6th, he visited an escort in Upper Manhattan. Just two days later, Olias Aransibia is killed in the hotel. Four days later, he flew to Arizona. On February 17th, 2024, just nine days after our victim was discovered in New York City, he committed a knife point carjacking in Phoenix, Arizona, where he stabbed his female victim. He managed to escape that scene. Only a day later, authorities say Almanza Ray stabbed an employee at an Arizona McDonald's. He was later arrested in a stolen car. The majority of his arrests involved domestic violence and assault. Anywhere that he's visited, there's potential that there are other victims. Now, police are making a plea. They say if you've had contact with this man, call the authorities. They further say he's in Arizona in custody tonight, and they're hoping to have him extradited back to New York as soon as possible. We're live in Soho, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. Naveen, thank you.